What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at Grok3, specifically creating images with Grok3. Now Grok3 will also have video, it will have, uh, I think it already has voice or not, not, but it will have voice in a couple of days as well. So yeah, let's start by creating an images here. We click create image. And as you can see here, we have a couple of prompts that we can start with. So let's do this one right here, just so we can kind of test it out. And if you don't know, I actually compared Grok uh, with DeepSeek, with uh, ChatGPT4 and with Quen. So you can also take a look at that on our channel. Um, also, I tested it for uh, coding. It, with coding, it's really great. So you can check that out video uh, as well on our channel. So. As you can see, uh, the image generation is very clean. It is very fast. Uh, right now it's a bit slow because obviously a lot of people are using it. Um, but as you can see, we got two images. So we have the first image right here. The face is a little bit off, but as you can see, astronauts eating on the moon. We can see two Earths behind, which is funny. Uh, but as you can see here, we can see astronauts eating on the moon. Now, obviously some you know faces you know, they, they could be better. Overall, the image quality looks good. The details are really good as well. Now, what I always like to do is, uh, you know, if you want to generate an image, you want to go with draw. So draw Elon Musk driving a Tesla. Let's see if Grok, uh, it, it seems like you'd like an image generated. Just to confirm, would you like me to create an image of Elon Musk driving Tesla? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, for example, with this prompt, it doesn't actually give you anything. So uh, as you can see, I actually tested this out. Uh, you don't, you didn't generate anything. Okay, uh, let me know. Yeah, please generate an image. As you can see, it actually doesn't give me Elon Musk driving Tesla. So what I'll do, I'll just refresh it here and I'll go uh, with another chat actually. Create image and as you can see, draw a monkey wearing a black suit and dancing. As you can see, it says I'm not able to directly create images, but I can help in other ways. So as you can see, it kind of tells you that it cannot do the images. But if you go to Grok, you can actually create images right here. So I guess we can only for now create images from these three prompts. So let's take a look at this. Obviously, I think in the premium version, you will be able to do much more than what we're doing right now in this version. But as you can see, draw a river author playing a ukulele. So let's see here. This already looks good, I can see. Uh, and by the way, each image has Grok uh, watermark here, as you can see. Looks really awesome, honestly. And uh, the detail, the, the attention to detail is also really great. So yeah, I can see this as well. This one is, honestly, it looks kind of real. <laughs> like you know an author is really playing an, an instrument so you can see this right here if we i don't think we can zoom in but if you zoom in on this you will see that um you know it's not very detailed but overall the, the images are detailed now as you can see here you have like options so what you can do is you can say writing an unicycle and then based on that image it will create another image with author writing a unicycle which is really awesome. So as you can see here, it's actually being generated right now. So you can see how powerful Grok3 really is. Um, again, I've tested it with coding. It looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, here it is. Uh, it looks a little bit odd, honestly, but yeah, looks looks quite good. Obviously the details, right? It is a little bit blurry. Uh, blurry but overall I would say it got the point uh, right here as well a little bit blurry but overall the image looks really good now if we go to the new chat here we can actually create an image 
I, I don't think we did this, so let's just do this one as well. And as you can see, it will create an image here. So again, the image generation is really fast, honestly, compared to other image generators out there. Um, as you can see, we have Isaac Newton with an apple falling from his hand. So as you can see, looks really cool. The details right here, these, the textures look really awesome. Obviously, the focus is on his face. Uh, as you can see, everything else is blurry. So it's kind of like a phot photograph here as well. Um, again, it, it looks a little bit grainy, but overall, uh, I would say this image generator is definitely, you know, six, seven out of 10. Um, so as you can see under a stormy sky, you can also do this one as well. But overall, this is what Grog can do in terms of images. My alarm just went off almost, but <laughs> yeah, overall, this is what, uh, you know, um, Grog 3 can do with images. Uh, if you want more videos, like more detailed videos, I can pay for a subscription of Grog and I can uh, go uh, really into detail on that. However, uh, if you want to see more AI videos and more comparisons, Grog versus other tools, definitely uh, comment down below and uh, I'll do those videos ASAP. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.